coming in as we're talking here. Um, so what's, what's it gonna be? Alright, it's the end of the year. It's the end of the year and I have two major videos left, right? Two major videos. I got the end of the year podcast and I have, uh, uh, and just like the, another video I want to do that's just like the end. And oof, the motivation is, is done. So this kind of ties into what I was talking about on the other channel, but I've hit my limit. And by limit, I mean... I'm good. <laughs> I am so good with uh, everything that's going on. This idea uh, that, like, you know, that, like, stuff is, <laughs> like, stuff is over my head now at this point. It's, I, the election is winding down. My, my job is done. I'm tired. And with this fatigue, I've decided, like, it's not like I'm copping out or anything like that. But literally every year I do this. Most, If you follow me, you know that this is something I do. You know, every year uh, I just, I, I, hit the, I hit the reset button. And part of me hitting that reset button is me, you know, going on hiatus. Uh, one thing I didn't have in the past was... Uh, the ability to go live like I'm doing right now so I can still go live that's not a that's not gonna be you know the hard part for me I can still go live and you know as stories come up because obviously we have the cat who got shot in uh Philadelphia because the officers didn't have tasers uh, body I mean I'm pretty sure I don't even know if they had body cameras but it's just like you literally are sending these maniacs out there with just a gun and they requested like a mental, I, 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 there's too many videos out there of officers taking down people with knives of the complexion to, the complexion to survive. It's just too many videos out there. So it's like, it, man, anything, anything, but never call the police guys. It, don't call and if you can't get this person subdued first, like if there's a person going crazy and you can't call some chem folks over to subdue him, don't call the po unless you're prepared to bury this person, don't call the police. But I still should be able to go live with Eric and do videos like that. I still have videos in my queue. And if I go live at least once a week, then that means I'll have a plethora of videos to like, you know, divulge out piece by piece. But ultimately, you know, I won't be doing any like heavily produced videos other than the end of the year podcast and that video and, you know, anything that Eric wants to put up. But for the most part, that's just it. And I also recommend you take a break after November 3rd, just win, lose or draw. And uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and say uh, who's going to win right now. It's, Trump's not winning this year because of just the sheer number of people. The last time we had this amount of people voting was in 1908 and it wasn't good for that incumbent either. And there's a bunch of other historical points you can point to, such as the stock market, uh, the amount of the amount of uh, the amount, the accumulated death is another great number. Uh, but he just when it's all said and done, he let too many people die. He had too many people die on his watch. Even so, even the Republicans are like, uh, uh. <laughs> like when Nebraska, Florida PA, Texas, all these states are becoming battleground states. States that are, that's not a good look, bro. It's not a good look. So I'm going to call it here now, but win, lose, or draw once again. The election wasn't designed to affect me. People like me, it won't bother me. I do care about the, the women's rights. Uh, I do know that uh, we need to pack the courts in order to make a course correction for what's going on. Amy Cohen Barrett is not a good lady. She's not a good person. There's the, the video of her talking about her kids is proof that she's not a good person. And I know those black kids can't wait to get out that house when they turn 18 because she looks like she's a nightmare. And the and the macaroni and cheese, bland, dry.
dry. Oh, those poor kids. And just listen to how she describes the daughter, the black daughter. She's talkative, energetic, and she makes sure everyone hears her. But her white kids, smart, athletic, intrigued by the world's questions. Okay, bitch. That's a get out children's version. And I hope they kill everybody in the house. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> But no, seriously, um, take a breather, man, because the pandemic numbers are going up, but the death rate isn't. Instead of a thousand people dying a day, it's 800. Like you're celebrating, that still puts us on course for 400,000. I mean, that still puts us on course for 300,000 dead before the end of the year. Uh, stock market's going in the toilet. Today would have been a great day for you to buy some Microsoft and Apple like I did. Um, so look into that but you know the channel will slow down but it won't you won't notice it if that makes sense like i'll be gone from a professional standpoint if like because i don't consider this to be professional this is me off the top of my head me snapping and flashing and me going like you get my mistakes my racism and my hip and my like biases all in one motion but like as far as my heavily edited content videos that'll probably go down a little bit but that's and once again, if you're just interested in hearing my perspective on certain things, you can write me on that and I can speak on that. That's this setup is 10 minutes. I just sit in front of my shit and go. So I love it. But uh, that's sort of like how the end of the year is going to go for me. And uh, I don't know. You know, a lot of people were asking me if if Biden wins, do, does my channel go away? No, because I don't fuck with Biden and I'm coming for his ass. So. I'll change my dynamic i will get him to get us medicare for all loan forgiveness and to put the words of reparations on the table i'm not eligible for reparations but i see what the inequality of wealth has done to the, my people here and if my people here can get to a certain level then the people back home can start getting to another level America, black wealth in America affects all black people. That's a fact. Because my extra money, back when I was making extra money, went overseas. And that shit don't happen no more. So that's a problem. That's a real life problem that we need to solve. But yeah, goals and aspirations. Um, just to go live, if I do do a podcast setup, it'll be with a guest. I have videos in the queue. If I feel the channel is getting a little sparse or something like that, I know I have a bunch of videos in the queue, so I have no problem bringing those videos up. But for the most part, I am I'm on that I'm on that you know slow motion gameplay. Whoops, slow motion gameplay. You feel me, guys? And I think you should too. I absolutely think you guys should take a break. Uh, deleting Facebook off your phone, Instagram, Twitter. When I talk about reset, I'm resetting. So that's what I'm going to do. That's my commitment to you. November 4th, uh, November 4th, I'll just delete those platforms. I'll just delete those platforms for my health. That's it. Not because I'm not trying to trying to avoid who won. It doesn't matter to me. But uh, speaking of that, let's get into this, this new thing. Uh... Do, do I even want to talk about this? Like the woke, the the two point, the woke 2.0 crowd, the woke black person who, who did their, who, who did their own research, <laughs> the black man who did their own research, but will tell you to go do your own research instead of putting their facts out on there. The, the black person now will say my research is he, he, he does cre like, it's just so dumb. And furthermore, it's no, it's 30th of October, Halloween's tomorrow. Is there a 31st day in October? Survey says, yes. Uh, so I, I don't know if it's not worth my energy. And I think, I don't know. I'm just about to hit an hour, and I think I want to draw tonight. 
or at least get back to a conversation I was having with somebody on the phone. So um, I, I'll probably leave it here. But, you know, if you're one of those woke 2.0 black people, I'm not voting for Biden or Trump because they're both they haven't done anything for black people. And it's just like literally the Obama administration let out like 23,000, 23, something like 200,000. Uh, let me get the exact number because it's just worth that. Yeah, 23,000 people out of prison. And then you look over, the economy was better. The deficit the, uh, only added uh, two, 2 trillion to the deficit. Meanwhile, Trump added 7 trillion to the deficit. It's just mindless self-indulgence that I never understand. And what it really is, is, you know, they just want to be contrary. This is a demographic of black people that, and my boy Domati said it best on a podcast I just listened to him in. Uh, when I remember it, I'll put the link in. Um, but he basically said, you know, black people have, uh, black people, I'm paraphrasing, but basically we, we get into that rabbit hole too. We'll follow, we'll chase the rabbit too. Because as much as we sit here and blame our parents for having misinformation, this is further proof that millennials spread misinformation at the same rate. We, it's scientifically proven, but because we think we're more technically sa technologically savvy, we don't think that we can succumb to uh, the pressures of the internet. L let me ask you this. You know, if you're a woke 2.0 black person and you don't have ad blockers on all your platforms, you're being subjected to things that you don't know that you're being subjected to. My ad blockers block foreign posters. If you don't live within the United States, you don't get to post on my platform. I don't see your shit pop up on my screen. Like, and I turn it off and then I see all the memes that pop up from all these foreign people. Who know nothing about the American culture, but know how to poke the bear. And that's the funny part. They get poked and they fall. And, and instead of them attacking the poker, they go and have lunch with them. That shit crazy. Shout out to that third person that just jumped in the stream. Appreciate you. So, like, I have this, like, not even as complex. It is a complex because I think, like, People who come, people who come to me with YouTube videos as their as their facts, you're I'm better than you. <laughs> I am better than you, definitively. Like, I, I've I have a master's degree in forensic pathology, so like people argue down like my thesis statements are tested and proven. As the first black person to graduate in a, with a degree in forensic pathology from the University of Texas Tech. Look me up. I'm in the library. Hall of Fame. I, I'll sit here and argue with you. But at this point, it's just beyond reproach. Because, like, you'll tell... And the worst type of people are the ones that... 2.0. The, the system was... The system in 2016, the system now... Or Trump has done stuff for black people. Like, a white person told me this shit, man. A white person had the balls to look me in the face and say, Trump has done amazing things for the black community. He immediately, and I love the first one, justice reform. But the Obama administration let more people out of jail. Okay, but he didn't sign the bill. But Obama's administration started the bill. Mitch McConnell held it back on purpose so that Trump could get the credit. And they don't answer these questions. They just ignore it and move to their favorite, their next favorite talking point, which is he signed the 10-year bill to allow HBCUs to get funding. If you've never donated to an HBCU, you can't say shit. Every year, prior to homecoming, during homecoming, and after homecoming, UAPB has gotten more money from me, and I don't even owe them student loans. Texas Tech can't get a fucking dime from me. <laughs> Biden, move my shit so I can go to school. Uh, and then he passed, he did a before, and then he quietly signed a an executive order defunding any organization that teaches uh, racial sensitivity or racial injustice. You know who? You know what schools do that the most out of any school in America? HBCUs. 
I learned about I learned about terrorism not a, not not overseas, but in Oklahoma, in Chicago, in Pennsylvania, in Alabama, in Texas, the mass graves, where they didn't even then try to you know identify these people. They just moved them to another mass grave, and they marked it so the next construction company knows better. Trump has done for black people like no, has done more for black people than Joe Biden. He sent people to jail. No, you idiots. The crime bill was a bill that was bipartisan agreement. Every single person in the room voted for it. So if you're mad at Joe Biden, I mean, uh, yeah, Uncle Joe, better be mad at our Lord and Savior, Bernie Sanders. You better be mad with the 75% approval rating for this bill in the black community at the time. Bill Clinton, better show your teeth. His saxophone, long nose, cigar sticking in the pussy. Have an ass, you better be mad with him too. You have to look at the world in the, within the context that we lived in. We're not the heroes here in America. We didn't go to war with the, with the rest of the world in World War II until our profits were in danger. We were okay with people getting gassed. So what makes you think they're not okay with telling you another story? Joe Biden isn't good. I already said that. I would kick him in the nuts and knock his jaw out. First chance I got. And I wouldn't suffer any consequences. But Trump would... Uh, I would literally drop an elbow on Trump's chin. I'd rock bottom him and then do the people's elbow. But they're not comparable. They're just not. You can't... Uh, one in 1,000... Listen to this number. One in 1,000 black people. For every 1,000 people that is infected with COVID, one black person is definitely going to die. That is the highest ratio of any demographic. And this is your king? The orange Oompa Loompa? That's who you repping? Ah, man. Just say, just say you want to be contrary. Just say you're uneducated and you don't want to go follow suit. Because if the president is affecting your life, I'm here to tell you, you're not in the best position. You're not in a good position in your life then. If what the president is doing in this world is affecting you directly, if your uncle Pookie and them are dying, that's because they don't have the proper education, resources, or ability to avoid COVID. That's not good. Your food deserts. You got to travel more than four miles to get food. That's not good. Your schools don't have broadband, I mean, 5G capabilities or the resources to pass out tablets to every student. That's not good. You didn't benefit from any of the taxes. You're not an HBCU student and you're not in jail. So what has Trump done for you lately? Besides kill 240,000 of your fellow citizens. Huh? Cat got your tongue? Grab him by the pussy done? Go fuck yourselves. You guys are the worst type of black people. You're the black person on the boat who told the person who'd rather jump than be stuck to bondage not to do it because you didn't want to be lonely. You're selfish. And on top of that, you're a coward too. Biden is racist. Biden's an idiot. He says stupid shit. I looked into that story that Eric sent for last week about the Kluka. Yeah, he knew a racist. 90% of the country was racist when Joe Biden was young. Duh. But my thing is, at least Biden apologizes and recognizes his hypocrisy. Biden has people in his corner that will say, hey, when you said 
if you don't vote for me, you're not black. That was racist to a lot of black people. So we're going to need you to go back out there and say sorry. And Biden waddles his big ass melon head with his dark sunglasses and huge face mask and says sorry. You want to know why that's important? Because when I need someone to do something for me in the house, I need him to be eligible. I mean, flexible. Trump is without is beyond reproach. He is literally beyond reproach. And if he wins a second term, there's literally nothing we can't tell this man. He still doesn't have a vast majority of his cabinet seats filled. It's just... You, if you call yourself pro-black and, you, and you're about saving black children, black women, black men, black lives matter, right? And that's the crazy part because these 2.0 black people, they say black lives matter. Is, is, like, is, they don't agree with it. It's so stupid. It's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen because when at least when a white person says, I don't support white power, it's because they inherently understand that there's a racist undertone to it. There's a neo-Nazi undertone to it. But there's these black people who are being used by these fascists. Because the greatest way to get a motive, to the best motivation is the motivation of the black community. Our propaganda style works. We get the people going. We give them what they want. Here come, here come, uh, the Coonery, the Candace Owens, the T Tariq Sheiks of the world. It's crazy. But hey, you know what? Like I already said, Joe Biden's gonna win this, and collectively the world is going to say no, and we're gonna get back not to normal, but to a better place. We're not going to go back to the where we came from because that's how we got here. But we are going to get to a better place. And I hope to see you guys in that better place. I'll be live sometime next week before Friday. I feel like a Wednesday. Me and Eric will be on here. And uh, we will do some discussions. We will talk. We will get closer. We will identify with each other. But, hey, let's go back here real quick because I need y'all to know. This contest is going. And I want somebody to win the $200. Uh, there's only three